When EVs changed everything about cars, let's start with the holy grail of EV technology, solid state batteries. Everybody and their mom has been hyping them up to be just around the corner. Toyota had promised to bring it to market in 2025, then pushed that to 2027, and now, well, it's complicated. But here is what gets everyone so hyped about solid state batteries. Imagine charging your car like you would fill it up with gasoline. We are talking 10 minutes, full charge, not 30 to 40 minutes, at the most on a fast charger, and range. How about 600 miles on a single charge? The best part, these batteries are supposed to be much safer and more stable than today's lithium ion ones. No more sleepless nights thinking about battery fires or degradation, but, and there's always a but solid state batteries don't seem to want to be mass produced. Companies have spent billions trying to figure it out. It's like trying to bake the perfect souffle in an industrial kitchen. What works in the lab doesn't always work in the real world. Now, add something a little like science fiction. Wireless charging roads. Sweden's already testing this technology on real highways. Just think about driving down the highway and having your car charged. No range anxiety, no charging stops on any long trips. Quite literally, the road becomes one huge wireless charger. They've embedded charging coils under the asphalt, transferring power to your car at speed. It's those wireless phone chargers scaled up about a thousand times. But here's the kicker. It could totally revolutionize trucking. Electric semi-trucks would no longer require these huge battery packs. Small ones would do, and they could be charging all the time they're driving. And there's a downside, of course. The infrastructure costs are just massive. Picture just ripping up and rebuilding whole highways. Then, of course, there's the question of who pays. Several countries have already started running pilot programs. China's testing the technology in several cities. Germany is planning a major rollout on their autobahns. Now, how about something that could change, well, not just cars, but the whole power grid? The concept of bi-directional charging, or as I more commonly refer to it, your car is a giant power bank. Let's say your neighborhood loses power. Well, you just plug your car into your house. Boom, instant backup power. But here's the best part. During peak hours, say, when it gets really hot and electricity is more expensive, your car powers your house. Then it charges back up at night when it's cooler and the rates are cheaper. Some companies are already selling this tech. Ford says the F-150 Lightning will be able to power your house for up to three days. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 will run a coffee maker at your campsite. But the coolest part, virtual power plants, thousands of EVs connected to the grid, kind of smoothing out power supply during those peak demand times, already happening in parts of California. Now for the most exciting integration, AI in electric vehicles. And we are not even referring to the standard driver assist here. EVs of the future will basically be computers on wheels. They'll learn how you drive, optimize battery use, and even anticipate when you need to charge. Imagine your car knowing you have to drive across town for a meeting tomorrow. It checks the weather, traffic patterns, and your calendar. Nice. Then it automatically makes sure it's fully charged and, if necessary, routes in optimal charging stops. And it goes further. The AI systems will interlink with other cars on the road. They will be sharing real-time data on traffic, road conditions, and charging station availability. Your car might even negotiate charging times with other cars to prevent lines at charging stations. Now about how those future EVs will be built. Tesla's Gigapress was just the beginning, it seems. Enter what they call mega casting. Instead of putting cars together from thousands of parts, manufacturers are now starting to cast whole sections of the car in one piece. Not only is this cheaper, but it makes cars stronger and lighter. And lighter cars mean better range. But the real revolution is in something called structural batteries. Instead of putting battery packs into a car, the battery becomes part of the car's structure. It's like building a house where the walls of the house are made out of batteries. That could reduce weight by up to 20% and increase range significantly. It's all about convenience, not speed. The robotic charging arms have already started testing. Just pull into a parking spot and the robot automatically connects the charger. No more getting out into the rain to plug in your car. But that is just the beginning. Companies work on charging pads installed in your garage floor. Just park your car and it charges automatically, no cables needed. And those charging stations you see everywhere? About to get a whole lot smarter. Imagine if charging stations could actually detect when your battery is degrading and adjust charge speed accordingly or stations that could service multiple cars at once, automatically managing power distribution according to each car's needs. What EV tech are you most anxious to see? I'm just looking forward to enjoying video gaming from the car.